James, is there a slight sense of relief this afternoon? You've had more straightforward cup matches. Um, it's probably more disappointment. Um, you know, we we got through to the next round, but it's uh, the level of performance that's really disappointing. Um, you know, we made it really hard for ourselves today, when, which we we didn't need to. Um, but. We're obviously through to the next round, which is the main thing. Um, so there's a lot more improvement that we can do, and and we'll obviously keep working hard and trying to try to do that. When the manager indicated he wanted you to let Arctic Thistle equalise to make it two-two, were there any reservations amongst the players? Any eyebrows raised? No, it's the, it's, the, it's the right thing to do. Um, you know, Rangers are have got a high level of standard, and and it was the right thing to do. Um, I think. Malik's a, a young, honest, honest lad, and he was down, you know, when the ball went out of place. So I don't think he actually knew what was happening, and it was, I think it was just the right thing to do. Um, and we knew we had more than enough to to finish off the game and obviously get through. But like I said, it's just disappointing that the the level of performance that we displayed today. James, the, the team seems to play well in patches, and quite often it's reactive during a game. Is there a sense of frustration among the players that sometimes it does take some adversity in the match to really kick you into your top gear? Um, I think it's just disappointing as you know we've really shown signs of consistency in our results. Um, but then obviously we have spells of really good play, and then you know we you know we can almost take the foot off the gas and you know make it harder for ourselves. I think we obviously showed a really good level of performance against Hearts. And you know we need to work on that and continue working, you know, to display that throughout the, f the 90 minutes. Um, but you know we know there's work to be done and we're improving all the time. But it is that s small margins when you know we need to keep that consistency of uh, performance up. How do you think? Uh, do you put that in the Yeah, it is. You know what? He's, he's another great lad who's really settled in really well. Um, you know, got an assist for uh, for Tony's goal. So. You know, it was a, probably not the afternoon I would have wanted to give him, um, being obviously the the way we all played. Um, but you know, he's a credit to himself. He he had a good game, and hopefully, he can build on that for us. Well, I just spoke a couple of weeks ago about times the team looks a bit anxious, especially when they're trying to see games. There's another sort of flop end there. Is that something you guys are doing? That you know, when, you know, the games are getting tight. At the end, you feel sort of nerves creeping in a wee bit. Um, I think you know when it's obviously close to ending, you obviously get. You, you take the lead. You know they're going to pile bodies forward, um, but the main thing is we've seen seen the games out, and that's the positive thing. We've obviously sucked up the best we can and not conceded. Um, so it's just learning from it and really try to maybe not uh, get too anxious. But we know teams are going to pile bodies forward, so it's about just trying to keep them up and trying to keep the ball um, the best we can in the final stages. In fact, they're just all getting results, but I mean, as much performance, maybe not what you want. What does it say about the impact that even when you're not playing at top level, you're still getting results? I think it's 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 obviously a positive thing because we know we, we're getting the results and we know we've not hit that top gear of the, the consistency of the 90 minutes. So we know that's to come, but you know, we can't be keep on saying it week after week that we need to keep working and it needs to be there. You know, it, we've all been together a long time, and you know we know what the manager wants us to do. So we've just got to be really at it and be really consistent throughout the night. James, the manager spoke a, a few times about the overall performance not being where he wants it to be, and he's he shouldered a lot of the blame and saying that maybe he's changed things too much. But as a group. What do you kind of say in response to what he said about it not quite being good enough, and how do you fix that? Well, I believe you know it's it's down to the players. Um, in the end of the day, um, we're all very good players. We know what the manager wants us to do, uh, but it's about us executing it on the pitch, and we need to execute it for ninety minutes. And you know, if we we take the foot off the gas, we make it difficult if we're sloppy in our play then you know we're going to make it harder for ourselves and we've done that um, obviously the past few weeks obviously Hearts was a great example of how well we played throughout the game um, so we've just got to learn but you know we have to learn and deliver and and we can't obviously continue to, to be like this but we are getting the res results that we're wanting so in that sense it's positive but we know there's still room for improvement which is, is a good thing.
On a lighter note, James, as captain, who did you delegate to tell Alan McGregor that Patrick Fischel were allowed to score? <laughs> um, obviously, it's not something that Alan, Alan wants to, to hear and he's, he's a proud goalkeeper, never wants to concede. Um, but it was obviously the right thing to do. Um, as a Rangers football club, we've got high level of standards and we always try and set them every single day and it was the right thing.